EMIS is an education management information system. Um, just like we have HMIS in health, so that their system uh, to manage the education data. Yeah, we have started this as pilot in Uganda. We started first of all by training our staff on how to use this system. And then thereafter, we involve our teachers who are supposed to bring in the raw data. And then we, we enter this into our computer system and then we analyze for effective use in planning. This is the first one. Um, system which has allowed me as a planner to, to have access to the information which is required for planning from the, the Department of Education. We have a lack of capital. There's limited financing of education department because normally the capital development grant that they normally give us in education is not proportional to the the needs which is on the ground. Because as we speak now, in the municipality, there are other schools that are still lacking desks for the children to sit. Actually, in one of the schools, we have uh, a 160 pupil in one classroom being taught by one teacher. That is our worst scenario. The system allows districts to be able to capture data to be able to validate it, to be able to analyze it by themselves, and to be able to use it for analysis. We entered the data for three consecutive years, in 2017, 2018, and 2019. We found that it was actually very easy for us to, want to one, um, track our performance, even up to the level where we were tracking uh, textbook to pupil ratio. It was very easy for us to place the money where it was needed the most. Now, without this data, we cannot track our performance along this one, these indicators. HISP Uganda's role in this DHIS24 education implementation has been basically playing a central role in the, in the customization, uh, capacity building, support supervision of the system. We were able to use the the existence of the district health sector, DHIS2 experts, to be able to improve our capacity, to be able capacity of the district. With DHIS2 system, uh, it makes my work easy. Because I used to come, in case I want to get information, I would even take a week to get a single information about a school. But now, with my computer, I just click and in a minute I will get the information that I need. And then also it has equipped me to have that zeal to make sure that my data, I own it, I use it, and also I share it with my friends or other departments which are there. Having the MS data really help us in running the municipality because now a mere click of the button can make you to get uh, a huge information that would have really been difficult if you were to use the manual approach. Many stakeholders tend to come to us and get the information that can really help them for further uh, development. Uh, all the, the programs and the different departments work in tandem with each other because uh, Education will require infrastructure, but the, the responsibility for infrastructure is in the, the works department. We move like a, a whole unit, but in different responsibilities. This is a big shift in what tradition has been done in most of the countries, where the, it has been a top-down uh, data collection, analysis, and planning. So for this pilot, we specifically allowed to be able to build the capacity for the districts to be able to do all that by themselves. Yeah, out of the data that we have been able to collect, analyze, it assists us so much in planning. Because for instance, when we are making presentation to the district councillors, we are supposed to convince them so that they come to know the reality on the ground. For instance, when it comes to procurement of desk, if we have realized that the desk people ratio is so high, based on the data we analyze, maybe for instance it's one to five, because it's supposed to be one desk sitting three learners. So it means we have to buy more desk so that every learner can sit comfortably and learn. The same to textbooks. The textbook people ratio is also a bit high in some schools, 
one to seven, one to five. The sun is supposed to be one to three, but my dream is one to one. So all this data has really supported us in planning very well and where we're supposed to direct our resources. Particularly for Uganda, it's been a very exciting on how the districts have embraced the use of the DHIS tool data that they have been able to collect by themselves and, uh, and utilize at the district level. Because the political leadership look at their constituency, but for us we look at service delivery versus the, the, what the performance indicators which is provided by government. So we are, we, are, we are now no longer arguing. We just bring the data and then the, the politicians say, okay, okay, that is good. And so we put the school there, we put the borehole there, we put the, the toilet stanches. That is how it has helped us. And we have also reduced reporting travel time. This is a, a digital platform, so in the comfort of your office, you are able to receive your, uh, your what, information. In the comfort of your office, you are able to report to either your ministry or your, your political leadership. So I think this is one of the best things that has happened because education for a long time has been what? manual. Everything has to be written by hand, everything has to be physically delivered to where, wherever it is. But this one is by a click of a button, you are actually what, are reporting. As I speak now, we have quality data that can really make us uh, give scientific information, which is evidence-based. This thing should have started yesterday. 